Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September of 2021. Yeah, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, we could be talking to a cross watcher here, so the roles can be reversed. I am avail available for private readings. If you would like to get a private reading with me, all the information is in the, de the description box below. Also, if you'd like to uh, get some extra um, monthly content or just you just like to support the channel you can do so by joining us on patreon patreon.com slash divine conversations the link to that can also be found in the description box below all right virgo let's get into your message for the month of september 2021 so i do have your pre-shuffle energies here um we're talking about in this at least right now we're talking about some sort of home situation this could be a romantic situation. You could be, a, this could be a marriage. This could be potentially something that would set you up to have to be in a marriage or a partnership or something like that. First card out is the four of wands. Um, I, I, I'm getting, there's a level of family and stability. So I feel like this is for an individual that is family oriented in the future. Um, I'm picking up on energies of uh, love, love type energies that would set a foundation for a family. Also, I do, like, I, I am feeling love vibes, so we could be talking about a twin flame situation if you resonate with that uh, part of the journey here. <coughs> the four of wands can represent twin flame union. And I did just see 144 on the counter, which is a number that's associated with the twin flame journey. So, okay. We have two, two, um, We have two sides to the equation. The first side of the equation, which might be you, Virgo, um, what I feel like is it's mostly for the feminine individual here, whether you resonate, whether you're a Virgo or not, or whether you resonate with the twin flame journey or not, it doesn't matter. It's feeling like the feminine side of the equation, whether you're a man or a woman, that also doesn't matter. It just feels like the energetic feminine side of the equation is here with the eight of pentacles and the star. I feel like you very much want to work towards something. You're very much willing to put in the work, to put in the effort, or at least at one time you were. That may have changed now um, because this other person kept fighting back. Okay, we have the other side of the situation, which is the four of cups and the knight of swords. This person was not interested. Regardless as to details of, as of why, Virgo, this person was not interested or they were putting up a fight. It doesn't matter if you know they actually feel differently than what they said. In some situations, this was a, this was a, situ this is a, 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 why did I just, I just heard a point of view. That's weird. But it was a situation in which somebody just was not interested and they fought back. And what I want to say to that, Virgo, is it doesn't matter why the person wasn't interested. It doesn't matter why the person was fighting back. They were fighting back. They didn't want to accept an offer. They didn't want to accept something while the other person had a dream, a goal, a vision in mind and wanted to work towards it. The other person was like, no, fuck that. For whatever reason. I, and quite frankly, Virgo, what I'm feeling here is like you, what I'm hearing and feeling is that you don't need to know the reason why. Because that doesn't matter. That, do that doesn't change the fact that this person was not interested and they fought back. Now, we have the Queen of Cups with strength. And this is where we get into the part of the situation where it feels like somebody was once willing to work for it, work towards it, but now they're like, no, screw you. Queen of Cups with strength. I'm getting with the Queen of Cups here, you do have um, an emotional boundaries being put into place and also someone's ego is being held back and i don't want that to sound like it was this was completely purely ego driven at the moment or i'm sorry i don't I, i'm not i don't want to make anyone feel like what it is they were pursuing was strictly e ego driven because i don't feel like that's what was the case here but what i'm feeling like here with the queen of cups and the king of i'm sorry the queen of cups and strength now someone is like, someone's, someone's being silent. I'm hearing the silent treatment. So fine. You don't want me. You don't want to talk to me. You don't want to deal with this. You don't want to, don't want to work this out. That's fine. But I'm going to go completely silent on your ass. And I'm going to completely pull away from you. And if we never discuss this again, if we never work this out again, then so be it. 
but you can sit there and, and blame you, you can sit there and say it was your fault now i did hear that i don't necessarily think that's fair because now i feel like somebody's being spiteful you didn't want to give me the, the the you didn't want to give me the time of day when i had when you had the chance then you don't get anything from me at all that's coming from a strong level of spite but also being hurt okay and then you have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck shit the nine of swords to the knight of pentacles to the lovers you guys um and what i'm what i'm feeling for this virgo is that this is going to work itself out over time if you're destined to be with someone, if you're meant to be with someone, Virgo, it will happen. That's what I'm getting from this. Like, what I just heard is the universe has no choice in the situation because you guys made this contractual agreement before you manifested here to have some sort of experience, to have this experience, potentially only to come back together in the future. And it could very well be that you made this contract with someone, but something went completely awry. Like there was some sort of unknown circumstance that came in and like stirred up the pot. And that got you guys fighting with each other instead of loving each other. I don't know. I just feel like the universe is going to work this out somehow. That's what I feel like. Nine of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, the lovers. There's something about the lovers. There's something about some sort of spiritual or contractual agreement on a soul level that makes this fighting a mute point. That makes these fears that this is never going to happen or you guys are never going to come back together merely an illusion, nine of swords. Somehow the universe will work this out on your behalf and it's not your responsibility to figure out how or why, okay? So don't try and carry that on your shoulders. Okay, Virgo, <laughs> let's move forward here. Um, I'm going to shuffle this up a little bit, and then we're going to give this five shuffles, and we'll look at the rest of you. Okay. Okay. So the next card, uh, what just came out now is the Four of Pentacles, but it came out in reverse. And I'm going to be honest with you, Virgo, I like this. I like the Four of Pentacles in reverse, because regardless as to what your feelings are right now, Virgo, what your feelings are towards this other person, what your feelings are towards this situation, regardless as to what the specifics of your feelings are, you have chosen or somebody here has chosen to completely let go of this situation. For some of you, you let go and you're angry about it. But that's okay. Because ultimately, you, you, you have let go. And so now you can go through the process of getting to yourself to the point where you're not angry about it. And that's going to take time. Okay. For others of you, you've let go in a fairly nonchalant way. Like, whatever, fuck it. I'm not going to worry about this anymore. I've got better things to do in my life right now. I've got better things to focus on in my life right now than worrying about this bullshit. But for others of you, there's also no animosity or anything. You're literally just like, huh, okay, that happened. And maybe it's just because you've been able, it's been a long time and you've been able to get over the resentment, the pain, the fear, the hurt, whatever. But there is a level of just straight up just letting go and not worrying about it, not focusing on it any longer. All right, Virgo. Shit. Okay. So let's give this, oh, what's this? Hold on. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You also could be dealing with another fixed sign, which would be Scorpio, Aquarius, or uh, Leo. Okay, so what I just heard, Virgo, is the past has hurt you, okay? But you have the Six of Cups, you have the World, and you have the King of Pentacles. And what I'm getting from this, Virgo, I, I, I don't know... I don't know. What I'm getting from this, though, is that in terms of the past, that cycle is completed. And somebody here, maybe it's you, maybe it's the other person. Quite frankly, it could be both of you. But what I'm getting here specifically 
is that the masculine energy involved in this situation is coming out of this a completely changed person. Like what you don't see happening, what, what you don't see happening because you guys aren't probably aren't really even associating with each other any longer, let alone speaking to each other. But what you don't see here, Virgo, is that the masculine side of this equation is coming out a brand new person. He was one, he or she was one thing in the past, the Six of Cups, but that cycle has changed. That cycle is changing, has changed, or is coming to a close. And this person is emerging out of that a whole brand new person. You may, you may not even recognize them once you guys cross paths again, once you come back together, or once you, once you meet up again or what something, you may not recognize this person at all. Okay. Strength, again, but holding your center, holding your own, like not even, not even giving a damn, not giving a flying fuck. Because ultimately, Virgo, that's not your responsibility to handle. Someone else's shit is none of your responsibility and quite frankly is none of your business. You really, all you're responsible for is your own shit. And that's where I feel like you are mentally right now. Which is why, because I just feel like there's this really strong, I'm not taking these. I'm not taking those. I just feel like there's, even though there may have been animosity in the past, Virgo, I feel like there's a strong sense of peace that you found within yourself about it. It doesn't mean you won't have your odd cringe moment when something like re resurfaces in your mind, but like... I don't think it's that serious any longer. All right, Virgo, let's give this five shuffles for you, yeah? For your month of September. Here you go, one. For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2021, this is two. Make sure to check your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for a complete, a better picture, a more full or complete picture of what could potentially be happening for you during this time period, yeah? This is three for my Virgos. All right, so Virgo, I'm seeing green for you, and that's not odd. This is four because you're an earth sign, and I associate green with the earth signs, but what I'm actually getting for you, Virgo, is that there's a sense of heart chakra awareness that you are coming to. This is five. Uh, compassion is coming online. Once where you may not have had compassion for a certain person or for a certain situation, now that's changing. Okay, I'm gonna cut the deck for you. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Virgo. We're starting you out with the Seven of Cups. Clearing up the confusion. Uh, for some of you, or for whomever is resonating with this, there's a lot on your mind, um, but I feel like you're handling it in a mature way because you're trying to really come to understanding of it or come to grips with certain things. It could also be that you are, um, there are a lot of options. I feel like you're standing there working with the universe, looking at this screen in front of you that has all these different options or all these different ways that things could work out for you. And it's not even about pinpointing any one of them, analyzing it and either accepting or rejecting it. What it feels like the most right now, Virgo, is just that you're standing there looking at this becoming aware of the fact that things there are a plethora of different ways that things can work out and you don't have to control that underneath the seven of cups is the five of swords underneath the five of swords is the seven of swords but then underneath the seven of swords is the page of cups okay seven five seven which is so funny because i've been seeing 757 as a recurring number lately um, and in the tropical system, I have a Virgo rising, which is funny. But um, there, a lot has happened in this situation, Virgo. Don't get me wrong. You have the Five of Swords here. You have the Seven of Swords here. There was a lot of backstabbing. There was a lot of cheating. There was a lot of lying. Uh, there were self-defeating situations. There were sabotage situations. There were sab self-sabotaging situations, okay? And there's a lot wrapped up in that Seven of Cups. So not only is there a lot to understand or a lot to see, uh, a lot to be aware of involved in the situation, but there's also a representation of how, even though it doesn't matter, even though all of this shit went down, there are still plenty of ways that things can come back together. Underneath at, at everything at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups to the Ten of Cups. I feel like there is a big change here. There's a big shift in your emotions. 
there's a big shift in your emotional reality okay and this is also that energy that i was feeling that uh of like kind of getting over some of the pain or some of the heartbreak or so maybe even some of the resentment that that and that and it's opening you back up to the ultimate goal that you may have set out for or planned out for in your life as part of your life purpose at this time i just feel like the page of cups to the ten of cups is representing you rediscovering a certain level of love of intimacy is what i'm hearing um, a certain goal or a certain plan for your life maybe with a specific person okay but i don't want you to get too caught up in that but also i feel like you're not too caught up in that and i mean like the specific person aspect of it yeah hold on a second sorry about that virgo i had to go potty okay Let's get into the rest of your reading here. Yeah, we're going to look at the first half and the second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at the past energies often up until the present moment. And then the second half of your reading is going to look at the present moment off into the future. Yes. First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading. You have the two of pentacles striking the balance. Uh, what I really feel like for you, Virgo, here is that you really took made it to, to made a conscious effort to find balance in your life, regardless of what of the circumstances surrounding you. What I'm getting here is the image of a woman or a feminine figure, whether that be energetically or physically, having a lot of romantic chaos in her life or his life or their life. And regardless as to what they find themselves dealing with or facing at any given moment, there was still an effort to try and find balance in your life. To balance everything out and for some of you you were dealing with someone that you were strongly intimately connected with maybe even married to or at least like shared a living space or shared a lot of things in common and so there was a it, it's almost as if you could not get away from the situation you had to just do your best to keep the balance two of pentacles is coupled with mm, the two of swords now there you go so in the past, this was an energy of, I don't care what's going on. I don't care what fight, what we're fighting. I don't give a damn what you said to me last night, what we did last night, how much, like, I don't care about that. All we need, all I'm focused on right now is maintaining this balance. So all of this shit doesn't hit the fan. <laughs> okay. All right. Second set. It's a very mature energy. It's a very balanced energy. It's a very practical energy. All right. All right. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the sec first half of your reading, excuse me. You have, ah, uh, see, the Ten of Wands, though. I don't like that for you. I do not like that for Virgo at all. This Ten of Wands energy, because I feel like you were taking on way too much than you were, that was necessary. Or at least it just became too much at one point. Ten of Wands is coupled with the Wheel of Fortune. So, so... So what I'm picking up on here for you, Virgo, is that ultimately things became too burdensome for you. And that's when you started to recognize the karmic cycle. It, it was at that moment that you were like, I don't, I don't want to be dealing with this any longer. And that's when the awareness started to hit you. I feel like that's when you started to see everything for a, a, a truer version or a truer picture of what it truly was. This relationship, this circumstance, whatever. You started to recognize the karmic pattern. It's what I'm hearing. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Virgo, is strength. There's strength again. Um, needing to keep it together. No matter how much you may have wanted to curse somebody out, you kept it together. You needed to keep it together. This is literally you holding back. Strength is coupled with mm, the hermit. There you are, Virgo. And what I feel like, what I really feel like shifted for you, Virgo, in this situation was not necessarily that you needed to hold back or you chose to hold back because you were trying to be the better person. Um... It was more of, a, like, not to say that you're not trying to be a better person or the better person here or, like, take the high ground or be a better version of yourself than you were in the past. It's more just an awareness of your involvement here, Virgo. So this strength 
with the hermit is the moment in your challenge is the moment that you recognize that you had a hand in this as well. It's not, I mean, even no matter how much of a dick the other person is being or has been or was being, you still had involvement in this somehow. So this, and, and that was the pivotal moment for you, Virgo. That was the moment when everything shifted for you. Because instead of spending so much time trying to rationalize your anger, your fear, you being hurt because the other person did X, Y, and Z, it became a moment where you were like, yeah, okay, the other person did X, Y, and Z, but look at my involvement here. Like, I'm not proud of this myself. And that was the moment that everything shifted. That was the moment that the burdens that you had been carrying in this situation or just in situations like this, because I just heard over and over and over again, that's when your awareness shifted to how you could have relieved the burden on your end and thus stepping off the karmic hamster wheel for yourself. And if we are talking a twin flame situation, then what I'm picking up on specifically is that the moment you stepped off that karmic hamster wheel and started taking responsibility for your own involvement in the situation, regardless as to whatever that may be or however that may look, the moment you removed your energy from the situation is the moment that the other person started to have to deal with their own shit. And it's exactly why they are now able to, or in the process of coming out of this situation on the other, the other side of this, a completely changed person, just like you are. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading. Mm, five of Pentacles. Uh, an awareness of codependency, maybe. Five of Pentacles is coupled with the Eight of Wands. Oh. So what cleared this up for you, Virgo? What opened the floodgates? What cleared away the blockages and the drama and the hurt and the pain is the recognition of a codependent energy. An energy that says, I need you to do X, Y, and Z for me to feel happy, for me to feel good, for me to feel safe, for me to feel healthy. I need you to be X, Y, and Z for us to have this relationship. I need you to show up in this way for my purpose, that kind of energy. The moment that you recognized that and stepped out of this five of pentacles, this karmic energy was the moment that the floodgates opened and everything started to change for you. Eight of wands. Yeah. Cool. Let's move forward here. Yes. Okay, Virgo. Second half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies. Now, keep in mind, we're going to be looking at the current energy, the current moment, off into the future a bit, yes? First set of surrounding energies Virgo, for you, Virgo, in the first half of, second half, sorry, second half of your reading. You have the moon. I, but with the moon, I'm not, I'm not getting bad vibes. What I'm hearing is potential. And there was another word that I heard that I can't remember now, but there's potential and there are hidden aspects, just things that you just can't see. But I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. It's almost every time I see the moon in this deck, the look on this woman's face kind of gives me an energy of like a secret, which makes sense because the moon is a secretive energy. But I don't know. It doesn't feel sinister to me. It just feels like there's like a good secret behind behind the scenes that you're not really aware of but I what I'm hearing is it's working out in your favor and technically it would be working out in everybody's favor like when you really think about it regardless as to what you actually experienced during the cycle it's working out in everybody's favor anyway because everybody serves to benefit from it in some some way no matter how they may look for you the moon is coupled with ah judgment that's interesting So now this could be happening for both parties, okay, both sides of the equation. But what I'm getting here is that you're being called to rise up. Somebody here is being called to rise above, to face their madness, to face their own shit, to go through their own healing process. 
And what I guess what I'm getting here is what you don't realize or what you don't see is that it's mutually benefiting your relationship or your situation and both parties are going through this. Face the music, face the illusions, face the things that you were refusing to face in the past, which is something that we already touched on briefly here. Face the illusions of the situation so that they're so that you see it clearly and they're no longer illusionary, right? You can't hide behind the illusions any longer. Neither of you can. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the second half of your reading. You have temperance here. This is good. A lot of major arcana in your second half here so far. But you have balance. You have healing. You have timing. You have divine timing. Temperance is coupled with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you just got to keep going. Keep persevering, okay? Like I said, there's balancing. There's harmonizing. There's healing happening here. Realchemization, if you will. You just have to keep going. And really, Virgo, you really just have to continue to focus on your end of the bargain, your piece of the puzzle, and that's you and your life, yes? Don't worry about the other person's focus. Don't worry about any other, any other about anybody else's focus other than yours. Your challenge, Virgo, in the second half of your reading is the chariot. Look at all of this major arcana coming out for you here. Your challenge is to get yourself in line, in alignment, to get yourself balanced out, to to deal with the bad, the good and the bad, the positive, the negative, your lightness and your darkness. Get that aligned. Get that in check so that you can continue to move forward. And don't necessarily don't do it for anyone else other than yourself. Because regardless as to whether or not someone else is actually in your life, that doesn't change the fact that you still have a life to live, you know? So sure, you may be doing this or getting into this alignment to ultimately end up with someone or a specific person, but that's not the end all be all of your life. That's not the only reason that you inc incarnated here. You know what I mean? So there's more to your life, more to yourself, more to your existence other than just this relationship. And that's why it's so important for you to get everything in balance, get yourself together so that you are ready and prepared for the moment when Divine timing strikes. The chariot is coupled with the seven of wands. This is, Virgo, this is all about you and your focus, okay? Get yourself into alignment, which is what you're doing. I'm not saying you're not doing that, but what this, this challenge is saying here, don't focus on anything else. Don't focus on the other person. Don't focus on your friends, other people, blah, blah, blah. Don't come, don't, definitely don't try and compare yourself, your life, or your process to anybody else's, okay? Focus on you. Keep, keep your alignment intact, in check. The chariot with the seven of wands. That's your challenge here in the second half, in the current moment, off into the future, okay? So that you can keep moving forward on your path, regardless as to what anyone else has to do with it. And regardless as to whoever else was has signed a contract with you to show up in a certain way. Like, you can't control that. All you can control is showing up in your way. How are you looking? How do you need to show up for this to work out? That's all you can focus on, okay? It's all, that's all you can focus on because that's all you have control over. So it's not that it's all you can focus on. It's all you really should be focusing on because that's all you have control over. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Virgo, in the second half of your reading, you have the Emperor. Divine masculine energies. Showing up for yourself is what I'm hearing. Being the master of your own domain, handling what it is you have dominion over. That's it. That's all you can do. The emperor is coupled with the knight of pentacles. All right, so I, I, was, I was picking up on the divine masculine energy with the emperor here. And what the knight of pentacles is saying is, slowly but surely, eventually, you will get to him. Or he will get to you. Slowly but surely. It's going to take time. It's a process. Okay, but you'll get there. You're going to get there. So that could represent the Divine Masculine, your Twin Flame counterpart. It also, but also Virgo, this rep is representative of your energy in terms of taking the lead, taking control of what it is you have control over and moving forward with it consistently. That's all. That's really all you can do. 
Okay. All right, Virgo, let's close this out for you. Um, I actually, I want to get Oracle guidance for you from the Lover's Oracle, since this was a fairly love-oriented reading. Let's get Oracle guidance from you from the Lover's Oracle. All right, Virgo. Closing Oracle message for you. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Virgos for the month of September 2021, please, Spirit. Closing Oracle Guidance for Virgo, please, Spirit. That's enough right there. <laughs> you have my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So this definitely feels like a message for those Virgos who are in twin flame separation. Um, and you, but if it's not, if you, if you don't resonate with the twin flame journey, that's fine. It does, it just does feel like you, we have lovers here or counterparts here that are in, in, in separation. It happens. That's life, you guys. <laughs> that's life. Please don't be discouraged by that. Anyway. I love you all so very much. There you have it. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>